Hey everyone, so I'm going to go ahead and show you all how to run the applique felties. This is going to be basically the same process for your key fobs. It's just going to give a quick tutorial on what to expect and show that it's not as complex as it looks. So we're going to go ahead and run step number one, which is the placement stitch, and this will go directly onto the stabilizer. Okay, so now that that's done, go ahead and place down whatever material you're going to be using. I'm using the marine glitter vinyl. I don't have any more felt, so that's why I'm running these with the vinyl. So now we're going to run step two, which is the placement stitch for the applique portion of the helmet. So that's a real quick stitch. As you can see, I haven't swapped out the colors. What I do is whichever color I'm going to use for the satin stitch, that thicker stitch around the outline, I leave that in and I run it with all. That way there's not a lot of switching out and it's quicker. So before we run step three, we're gonna go ahead and place down the material we're gonna use. Step three is a double stitch, so it's going to turn twice to give it stability and hold that fabric down. stitch is run. We're going to go ahead and take our hope off the machine. These are the scissors that I use to cut applique. They actually, they work pretty well. I've had these for going on five years now. You want to cut as close as you can to that stitch line, but don't cut your stitch. This process typically goes a lot faster. I'll remove the hoop completely off the machine and hold it closer to me, but I want you all to see how close I get to the stitch. That way you have a nice clean finish. Now we're gonna place it back onto our machine. Step four is that satin stitch and we're just gonna hit run. Satin stitch is complete. I did go ahead and switch out the color for the front of the mask. I'm going to go ahead and drop that needle down and hit the stitch button. And this is basically the applique portion is done. So this is just the front piece of the mask. And then following the front piece of the mask, we have the circle that goes to the side of the football helmet. And we also have the final stitch, which is going to close your front and back pieces and give you a clean finish. Now that step five is complete, which was the front mask area, I'm going to go ahead and run step six, which is that small circle on the side of the helmet. Now that step six is completed, I'm going to go ahead and remove the hoop from the machine. 
and place another piece of material on the back. I sprayed 505 to this piece of material and it's sticking to the stabilizer. Place it back on your hoop. If you want to run the same blue, you can run the same blue and close it. I typically like to grab a thread that is in close, close color to our initial, initial material. So let me go ahead and get that on there. All right. Drop the lever and press go. Now that final stitch is completed, you can go ahead and remove it from the hoop. Get ready to cut. And as you can see, it is a very clean stitched out file. I do need to trim that little, little stray that looks like it's the tail of the thread. Just keep in mind, this file only comes as a two inch felty. The reason behind that is, is going any smaller, it's becoming very difficult to cut and the file is overall quality is not there. Here is the finished felty. I went ahead and cut that out so everybody could see it. I hope this tutorial helped those of you all that wanted to see the process and thank you all for watching.